Chris. Yeah. Chris, how old are you? Uh, 26. Like 26 or 26? No, I said 26. Um, are you originally from Arizona? Yeah. Born and raised? Yeah. How was your childhood growing up, man? Uh, it, was, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either. Uh, uh. Do you still have your parents? Did you grow up with mom and dad? I have my mom still, yeah. But, yeah, no dad though. Are you homeless right now? Yeah. How long have you been homeless for? Uh, it's on and off for like close to eight years. Eight years. And you're 26, so you ended up homeless at 18? Yeah. Yeah. How do you end up homeless at that age? Drugs. Okay. Does your mom know what's going on with you right now? No. I haven't had contact with my mom since uh, July of last year, so that would be like, what, eight, nine months or something like that? Yeah. Why is that? You guys don't have a relationship? No, it's not that. It's just uh, been just like so caught up with fucking uh, just doing my own thing. I just haven't really had a chance to like uh, go contact her or anything or go to uh, go over to the house and all that and say hi. I mean, it's just been so busy just doing my own thing, I guess. It's kind of like, yeah, got sidetracked, I guess. What does doing your own thing mean? What uh, do you do out here on the streets? Uh, shit, just try, to, try to make money fucking pan, by doing whatever, like panhandling, fucking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we'll cut it there. So you said you panhandle out here? Uh, this is. Uh, sometimes, yeah, that, like, and along with a, along with a pretty much any opportunity I could do to make money, whether it's uh, offering people to help load groceries to, for change or, like, yeah. do yard work or fucking, pretty much whatever I could do to make money. Do you ever have to boost out here? Yeah. Yeah, to, like, what, get, just get food or what? Yeah, yeah. A lot of the time, that's uh, what I end up having to do to get to eat, this is a uh, boost. Uh, boost my food. Uh, Do you mess with the blues and G? Sometimes, here and there. Uh, what's your preference? Like, what's your choice? I, mean, I, I like them both, but if I had a, a preference, I'd say probably the blues. At what age did you start messing with that? Uh, this wasn't until like recently. Like, I'd say probably like. 24, like, ish, so like a couple years ago for me. And before that, were you messing with anything else? Yeah, I was uh, smoking G and doing uh, slamming heroin. Damn, bro, how'd you get introduced to that, those hardcore substances? Uh, shit, yeah, I don't even really remember it, honestly, to be honest, but like, like yeah, it was, it was just like something that just like just showed up, kind of like it showed up in my life one day, like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Did but, it show up through friends or family members? Friends, uh, yeah, family, yeah, friends. Like, I don't have too many uh, family members who do hard drugs like that. Like, like most of um, most of my family is just either potheads or just alcoholics and shit. Like, nobody in my family really like fucks around with like anything harder than that really I mean I mean my mom back in the day she used to fuck around with meth but like not no more though yeah. Yeah. are you trying to get out of your situation right now what are you doing to try to get out of your situation oh, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to get myself cleaned up as far as like getting off drugs and all that and, and then yeah, just trying to like, get as much money together as I can. Like, trying to like figure out my access and all that, and getting my ID and like. But you do have access, right? No. No. Uh, Why haven't you went to apply? I don't have a phone or anything to do that with, or like any access. There's like an office just down the street, bro. Is there? Yeah. And I'd be like, able, would I be able to go in person? You're probably like three blocks away from the office, from the DES office. Oh. Oh yeah, and I'd be able to go in person and yeah. take you just care. Yeah, just walk in. All right, all right. Oh yeah. Yeah, I start, actually, I 
Yeah, I started the application process for it when I was in jail fucking recently. But, yeah. But yeah, I just need to follow through on it and actually call them and like find out what's going on with that and just like check up on all that, I guess. Like, if that makes any sense. Like, yeah. It, it, Are you scared of dying out here in the streets, bro? No. No? Why not? I mean, we all have to die sometime. I mean, sure. But not at 26, man. You still have like shitload of time, bro. Alright. I mean, if it's my time, though, it's my time, though. I mean, nothing I could do to stop it. But, but. but there's things that you could do to accelerate it, too, you know? Like, to right. get there faster. Sure. I mean, you're not wrong about that. But, but still, though, at the same time, though, I mean, it is what it is, though. Uh, you don't really care? It's not that I don't care. It's just, like, I don't know, just uh, all the shit that I've been through in my life, dude, like, that's the least of my worries. Uh, the last thing I'm really thinking about, like, I'm, I don't know, I'm just like... Did, did you have your dad growing up? No. Uh, Do you think having a father in your life would have probably changed the outcome? That would have made a difference? It, yeah, I would have definitely been a lot better off than what I am now, but... So also at the same time, like, I mean, that's also all on me, too. I could fucking better my situation, too. So yeah. it's like, uh, as much, uh, yeah, like they say, you can't cry over spilt milk and shit, dude. Yeah. Like, all you can do is just clean that shit up and get yourself another glass of milk and shit. Do you have any kids yourself? No, I don't. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Right. I know. That is really good, actually. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying because, you know. I'm just saying because of the situation that you're in right now. Yeah, it's too expensive to be able to take care of a kid and still take care of yourself too when you're living on the streets and shit. Like, it's like damn near next to it. It's impossible to do that shit. Like, yeah. All right, Chris. Well, are you okay with me using this on my social media? Yeah. I, I, and just in case somebody watches your interview and they're and they want to give you any donations or they want to contact you for anything for any sort of help um do you have an email or anywhere where they can contact you uh yeah i do actually it's uh ccups14 at gmail.com it's uh, ccupps14 at gmail.com all right chris yeah. thank you i appreciate it yeah uh, no problem and if any of your family members gets to watch this interview do you want to tell them anything yeah uh, just, i love you mom